in this video we will discuss the dehydration of 2 methyl cyclohexanol turn on your sand bath in the hood as soon as you come to the lab with a setting of about 15 to 20 your professor will indicate the location of all the materials that you will need for this experiment this is a hickman still with with an upper and lower bulb this is a custom made apparatus and cost both money and time to replace. Insert a short piece of a straw in the plastic funnel from your red box to make a long neck plastic funnel. Make sure the length is up to the bottom bulb. Load the bottom part of a Hickman still apparatus with granulated dry right filling more than half of the bottom volume you should use your spatula to do so until you become more trained as you can see i am adding very slowly Measure out 2 methyl cyclohexanol with a small syringe and inject it through the same plastic funnel. Using a separate syringe, add phosphoric acid to this as well. Remember, phosphoric acid is very corrosive, so be careful. Once you have added all the starting materials and catalyst, uh, place only the bottom part of the Hickman still into the preheated sand bath. Make sure you take out your funnel as well because it's plastic, it will melt. While adjusting, try not to jam or break your thermometer always gently place it in sand bath it is very important the temperature is around 140 to 150 degrees celsius 160 is also fine but please make sure it does not pass 165 degrees celsius In a few minutes, you will see the solution will start to heat. If your temperature is not high enough, consult with your instructor 
and they may increase the heating setting just a little bit. Once the collection starts, the distillation should be complete in about next 15 to 20 minutes. Do not increase the temperature. If it is taking a little bit longer, you need to you need to have some patience because if you increase the heat drastically or you know uh, the temperature might shoot up and it will ruin the whole setup i'm not increasing the power but you can see uh, the solution or liquid in the lower bulb is boiling and slowly it will it the distillation process will start and you will be able to collect your product in the upper flask or in the collection ring This is the product you have been collecting. When you see no more distillate condensing in the collection ring. Unplug the sand bath.
and raise the clamp on the ring stand lifting the hickman steel from the sand and let the operator cool to your room temperature transfer your product from the collection ring into a shell vial using a slanted pipette which your instructor will will provide you examine the product in this vial if there is a bubble of water in the bottom of the shell vial carefully pipe it out the water leaving the product If not add a bit of sodium sulfate to this vial to absorb the remaining water Let the liquid sit on sodium sulfate for at least 5 minutes. Meanwhile, weigh a shell vial and record its weight in your notebook. Now I am carefully taking out the product liquid of leaving the sodium sulfate into this pre-weighed vial. This process is known as decanting. You can also use a pipette to take out the product leaving sodium sulfate behind. Either way you have to be careful that you do not take any sodium sulfate along with it. And re-weigh the vial. and record the difference in weights as the mass of product formed observe the appearance of this final product and record that as well your instructor will provide an ir spectrum of the starting two methyl cyclohexanol we will take an ir spectrum of this neat sample of your product by placing a small drop of it between two salt plates if you have forgotten how to do ir reread the ir chapter of the manual and do the online notes Once you make your IR sample ready, uh, make sure uh, you insert in the instrument 
and you obtain the IR spectra. Once you do the whole process, so this this was like previously done by a student. So once you can clear everything on the screen and you rerun as a new sample. This usually take few seconds and once you get your IR spectrum, please make sure you don't forget to take a printout of this.